do you do? Here we go. It's one of those days that we're going to talk serious and be happy at the same time. Because, you see, when they say all work and no play makes uh, Sonny a dull boy, I don't think they were wrong in saying that. It's just simply because, hmm, if you don't start life, looking at life in the in a most uh, resonatingly, that's big English, uh, you know, happy mo- manner, you begin to mix up things and ask yourself, where am I? What's happening to me? Like I was almost sounding just now. Today, we're going to discuss how to manage our funds and indeed how to so also play games in a business way. Interesting. Managing funds, you know. Uh, somebody said, what's the meaning of financial jurisprudence? I said, I don't know about the jury bit of it, but prudence, maybe. And then what's the meaning of financial management? I said, well, that's to manage money now, not be so. It depends. But you see, the truth is, God did not make us businessmen. God made us with enough capacity to know what to do, how to do it, when to do it, where to do it, who to do it with, and things like that. Okay? And I have a very special guest in the studio. I think somebody said to me the other day, Sonny, you're beginning to invite only the women. I said, no, it's not simply because of that. It's just that <laughs> when I check my, I have a checklist and I look at the the top ratings of what is to be discussed and who is capable of discussing it. My goodness, the women are hitting the top list. Do not blame you, but I have Mrs. Nemia Kinkube in the studio. And this lady, as we will say, in a rather unserious manner, packs a punch. You know, she she's a she's a financial manager. She's she's been a banker many years over. She's been a columnist many years over. She's written for all the magazines that you care to talk about around the world. And guess what? She now became the African distributor of Monopoly. You know the Monopoly game. I don't know how many of you knows uh, or know how to play that game. But anyway, in the course, you'll be listening to. Mrs. Nimi Akinkube, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. I need to also say here that she has a lovely voice as well. (laughs) (laughs) Now, what's this all about financial management? Financial management is something that um, people should see as a way of life, part of their lives. But a lot of people struggle Hmm. in this area of their lives. So over many, many years, I've been very involved in my banking career and afterwards to try to just teach people about their personal finances and managing that part of their lives. Mm -hmm. And you were getting many converts alongside. I think so. I think so. I wonder why I wasn't lucky enough to (laughs) to be that close to you. You, You're supposed to read the the articles in the newspaper and in Genevieve magazine. Yes, you know. I do read them, but uh, every time I want to remember to ask you, I seem to forget until I've bungled. And I say, where's Nimi? Maybe she'll be able to help me out in this. But really... For anyone to succeed in life, what should he be doing? Let's look at it from a salary earner's point of view or even a business owner's point of view. Well, the first thing is to have have goals. Many people don't actually have set goals that they're working towards. So Mm. it's important to have short, medium and long-term goals. What do you Mm. want to do in the next one year? Do you want to move out of your house and start to own your own property? Or Mm. is it about your children's school fees or educating yourself? Have those goals in place before you then start to put a budget together to try to build your funds to achieve those goals. What of that person who, you know, thinks big, dreams big, and but doesn't have the resources to go with it? They have to start to save. I believe that no matter what your income is, I think mm. if you put aside something every single month, it will grow. It will grow. It, mm. But it's important to start most people say, oh, there's nothing to save. Where will I get the money from? Hmm. But you've got to start somewhere. Hmm. There's also, it's also important to realize that we have a huge unemployment crisis, not just in Nigeria, but hmm. across the world. Hmm. So we all have to try to become entrepreneurs. We have hmm. to look at our own talents, our passion, our experience and start to see where we can earn from those gifts that we have. Nigerians, are you listening at all? I hope you're listening because uh, sh- can you just step back a bit and repeat the last two sentences? No, we I was to- saying there's mm-hmm. a huge unemployment problem. Mm-hmm. It, is, it is huge. And it is not just a Nigerian problem. It's global. global. Mm-hmm. But ours is even worse because we have a huge youth population. Wow. But I do believe that every one of us has a God-given talent. Mm. If we would identify it and nurture it, 
I think it could help us in terms of earning income. People are singers, they're, mm-hmm. they're um, good at football, they're good at mathematics, they're good at IT, they can write. There's so many things people do, but they're fantastic cooks or they can sew. Mm. Even if you're working, you're not earning enough to save, is there something that you can do that will help you to earn? Are you good mm. at public speaking? Are you good at event planning that you could possibly do in your spare time that mm. will augment your income? It's important that we all think that way because mm. even those who are employed could be unemployed tomorrow. No job, there's no job security, no, no employer wow. owes, owes you a job. I see sometimes where people, yes, they dream big and they actually plan like this. But the concept of banking, yeah. you know, seems to be in conflict with some beliefs about how, if I say I earn 10,000 naira a month, yeah. right? I assume that I should be able to save 1,000 naira out of it every month. Now, I expect that if I put it in my bank, in my savings account, yes. I must expect some um, what <laughs> some percentage uh, um, interest. profit or interest. Uh, interest, you. yes. Now, what if the percentage, percentage interest is so minimal that it's not encouraging? In a savings account, it will be minimal and it will hmm. not be encouraging. But you do have to have some savings in cash. You have to have an emergency. You, you, you just hit it fund. so hard, didn't you? No, it will, <laughs> like it, it will not be encouraging. The savings Freedom. accounts, That's the interest, ma- interest rates are minimal. It, maybe it doesn't one or two percent or four percent. If that, and, and in, in your current account, you're not earning any interest at all. So ah. it's not even keeping pace with inflation. Hmm. But you do have to keep some cash aside. Hmm. Hmm. The hmm. thing, what I find useful when I find my financial situation is, is sort of running away and I'm not coping, hmm. I track my expenses literally write every single thing down. You'll be amazed at where a lot of waste yeah. goes. Hmm. Sometimes on a Friday, you take some money out and Monday morning, you don't even know what you did, did with the money. You've hmm. been buying things on the roadside. And side. when you you're look buying, at it together, it, it's it adds, so much. It, it adds up. So wow. it could be your phone bill that you've got to find a way of cutting back on. It, you know, there's so many things. And if you do this for a month and just track your expenses, You'll be astonished that you will find some money that do you know, could Do you have realize gone. you're talking to me? <laughs> you this don't is do that. me. Gosh, man. Because you don't, you don't account for it. No. On my way here, I've already bought some newspapers and some plantain. <laughs> <laughs> that well, I, at that least has just one is for knowledge or, uh, or information <laughs> management and the other is for the stomach, you know. <laughs> but you're not <laughs> accounting for it and not knowing how often you're, you're, you're buying but these the things and is, tracking it out. But the truth is you have to buy yes. them. You have to, you have to buy them, but at least know where your money is going. Mm-hmm, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, now, you, you left banking now. I was just wondering why. I was in banking for 24 years. First at Stanbeck IBTC for mm-hmm. 21, and then Barclays Bank. Where okay. I was looking after the West, the West Africa region as regional director for, yes. for mm-hmm. two years, yes. Mm-hmm. And I just felt I needed, I needed a change. I needed to do something else, but still stay within the personal financial space. Mm-hmm. So that's what, that's what I'm doing. And uh, what do you advise Nigerians who are going into banking? It's a very fulfilling career. Um, supporting people with their with their finances, um, it's there. There are many there are many banks. There aren't that many jobs, so it's it's important to realize that you know thousands and thousands of applications for just a few hmm. a few jobs. So you need to know the area you want to be in and make sure you learn about it and before you you go in. Uh, if if um, let, let's go back to this financial management issue, um, Nigerians. Uh, squanderous. I'm using the, uh, the words that's of a friend very, of mine. That's not a very nice word. <laughs> you know, squanderous. You know, they say the. Um, it, it depends on who has the opportunity to have enough money at, at, at any given time, and they just use it as they like. It's like they celebrate a lot. They tend to be seen as being wasteful. Uh, forgive my language. It's just what people are thinking. But I don't know if there's atom of truth in them. What should we do to? I know you've answered it indirectly, but what should we do to draw home the point that they have to learn to save? Well, a lot of us tend to get carried away trying to keep up with the Joneses and show off to our friends and and neighbors. Hmm. The problem with that is that you almost mortgage your financial future by keeping up with other people. Hmm. It's so important to focus on your own goals and not your neighbor's goals. Hmm. So we're so busy trying to live in a bigger house or get a bigger car or make sure you're wearing the appropriate attire for the next wedding and so on. And meanwhile, you don't have money in the bank for school fees and for rent and so on. 
another hard reality. Mm-hmm. So it's it's important that you. That's why I come back to your goals. What mm. are you trying to achieve? Not what your friend is trying to achieve. What are you trying to achieve in the next three years, in the next five years, in the next ten years, and beyond? So if you have parents, because I have five cases, yeah. you know, on my Facebook, people were just someone sent me a message complaining that. Um, you know, um, her father didn't let her do her, I mean, go after her dream. Yes, yes. And there was another young man who said his elder brother was insisting he had to be a lawyer because mm. it was a family of lawyers. And he was asking me, what should I do? He inboxed me and I said, follow your dream, but please convince them. <laughs> but, but also, but a law degree would be an awesome thing to have. In, yeah, but the a, spirit in, in is terms, not on it. It's not on it. I That's know, the problem. I know, it's very, it's very difficult. I'm a musician myself. I'm a pianist. And I see a lot of musicians. You are a musician? I'm a pianist. I'm, I'm a pianist by training. Ah. Yeah. And you are a financial expert. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I kept mine as a hobby. But I'm a, ah. a qualified piano teacher. So I have a, you know, a formal teaching I was maybe you should continue teaching me because I was a school my school's <laughs> pianist. I played piano for my school for four years, but I can't play a note today. Oh no, that's so terrible. what went wrong? You didn't practice, and nobody had a cane over you. I think my fingers just got a bit. Thank God you I don't have that. You, you had right lessons, is, and you can't play a note. Well, I mean, I still remember the ones in my head, but I can't. No, that's <laughs> Please. <laughs> anyway, I think we'll look for a way out because retirement will soon come and we'll definitely. You, you might have to dig up your piano, piano you books know? afterwards. Yeah. Yes. But let's now bring you to this thing about African distribution of monopoly. First, what is monopoly? Monopoly is a, a, personal, a leading personal finance yeah. Um, board game. It's a property trading game, yeah. and it'll be it, the brand Monopoly will be 80 years old in in 2015. It's an ah. 80 year old game, so okay. generations of families have grown up playing Monopoly. And I know that we used to play it in those days, but yeah. I'm not sure if um, it's become. It's not very popular in Nigeria. We're we're trying to reverse that, and we've been very successful at it so far because mm. we feel very strongly that even though we're all going digital mm. there is an important place for face-to-face interaction among families and friends mm. it's it's so important that people are relating together bringing families um, and back together so we will launch a digital edition down the line but we want to re-establish board gaming and even in our history there's board games have been played. So you have a lot of Ludo, Snakes and Ladders. IO is our traditional bo- um, game. The IO game, yes. Yes, mm-hmm. so, so people are playing playing board games and, mm-hmm. and we're finding that that's um, working very well. Okay. But Monopoly is more than a board game. It's teaching so many um, different different things in it. Especially business sense. Yes, absolutely. I can business tell you sense, yes. right now, those who are listening are already thinking of how to, <laughs> how does this Monopoly work? Yeah. Okay, just give me an example. How does it work? And you're landing. You're landing on property. You're buying, purchasing property in different parts of Lagos. Uh-huh. Most of us grew up playing the London edition, so you knew about Mayfair, Park Lane, mm-hmm. and so on. Now in ours, we have Banana Island, we have Agege, we have Ikeja, and so on. So you're. Huh. So it, it's teaching people about the city of Lagos for a start. Okay. It's also teaching them about the value of buying real estate. Okay. It talks about salary, collecting your salary. It talks about getting income, paying your taxes. Hmm. Going to, going, going to jail, going mm-hmm. directly to Kirikiri Jail. Ouch. <laughs> Is there yes, a snake and, and ladder concept in it? <laughs> because you hit, you, maybe if you hit the wrong... Um, you hit the wrong thing. Oh, God. Yes, and, and then, unfortunately, civics is not taught that yes. so much in schools now. In, we've managed to infuse in the opportunity and chance cards the laws of the land you know how to behave, how we, how we should behave by paying our taxes properly, not dumping refuse. So you're mm. penalised for negative behavior hmm. and you're rewarded for positive behavior hmm. in in the board game so it's teaching that it also um, presents african cities and Ni- in nigerian cities in a very hmm. positive way if you google africa hmm. it's quite it's quite startling what you see you'll see children on know, the street, on the street or hungry hungry yeah. crash or core looking hmm. you know very glum and people have that impression and if we don't present the good of our own continent in mm. a positive way. Nobody else will do it for us. So by the time you see our monopoly boards, and we're going to do this right across Africa, we have mm. um, 48 countries in the mix. Mm. Mm. We'll present these countries in a, in a very powerful way, which we hope will include, you know, improve um, foreign interest and yeah. so on. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, if we look at the game the way, you know, sort of 
indirectly or directly teaches yeah. how to be sensible in business. Yes. Does it then mean that um, it will also largely positively influence the direct professional you know, attitude towards business? Will it's, it? it's a personal finance game. It's a personal financial management game. And if you, if you can tackle your personal finances, it's teaching you about saving, investing, the importance of getting rent, importance of getting dividends or a salary. So you're about earning. Hmm. It talks about negotiation because you have to play as a team with the fellow players and ensure that you are, you know, making making a headway hmm. by negotiating properly and so on. Okay. It talks about there not being shortcuts. Success comes from going the whole hog. Hog, yeah. Not taking short shortcuts. Well, what if you have a bad habit and they say you can <laughs> habit be, you is can, difficult you can, to you can, break? You can be caught out in the game. It was so funny. A friend of mine was saying recently that she was she hadn't played. A, face to face with her children for so long mm. with her two sons one of the boys went to the bathroom and his younger brother stole his money now it was it was funny but it was not funny At all. because they had never actually seen this trait it was mm. only in a game but they had to now talk about cheating Are you serious talk about stealing yes that came out hmm. and said they had never had a family moment where because a subconscious like, behavior yes, that, suddenly that became yes ah. it was very very interesting hmm. yes hmm. okay so uh, i did say i was going to try and uh, let's take calls earlier because uh, somebody accused me of uh, can you have 30 minutes all to yourself from your guest that's not fair give us a chance to call all right hello hello Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you awake? <laughs> <laughs> Who's calling? Cool. Where are you calling from? Yeah, this is Mary from Badagri. Sir, say that again. Mary what? from Badagri. Mary is from Badagri. How are you? Oh, yes. Mary, Mary. Mary. Oh. oh, mother of Jesus. You're awake. <laughs> okay, so go ahead. Um, I would like her to advise me on um, how I can help myself financially as a teenager. Please You're a teenager. Do, uh, 13 hmm. years time. I um, can get hold of some cash and money which I have to myself. But now financially, how I can help myself and cultivate that habit. Oh, that's oh, wonderful! Seven, I'm yeah. I'm really I'm really proud of you. It's nice to see a, a teenager thinking thinking that way. You started just thinking about it. You started out right. So the thing is that whatever money comes your way, if you can put aside at least ten percent of it, do you do you tithe? Oh, I cut that off. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, say that again. You can say that as a general message. Go ahead. Yes. No, I was, I was just going to ask her if she tithes and puts any, any money aside at church. Okay. Oh, tithes. Okay. If she, if she does tithe. Okay. But after that, if she could put 10% hmm. aside and try and save that way religiously every time she gets this money. So, tithing yeah. is a very good you know, practice. It's absolutely. It's, mm. I think it's a, it's a way of giving back, and it's yes. and different. Different religions have different versions of, of that. Oh, okay. And a lot of people are, um, do that. It's, okay. Im it's important. Right. But I, I I really feel that um, I wanted to tell her that she should also make sure in holidays yeah. she's not just sitting at home idle. She should be doing holiday jobs. Mary, I hope you heard that on yeah. holidays also. Vacation get jobs, busy. internships, yeah. all that have a huge impact, mm. even in the future when she's in the workforce. That'll be, it'll count as work experience, what she was doing. Hmm. And she'll be earning now and can begin to save part of that, that, that money. Okay. Hello. 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 Yes, bring down the volume. How are you? Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm Samuel Abiodun. I've been listening to your program. Thank you. Where are you yeah, calling from? I'm so glad. I'm, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm calling from Lagos. Go ahead, please. I'm driving at the moment. I have to park. Park, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Number one, she says she has worked in the banking industry for about 20, 24 years or something. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Uh, these people want to borrow us money. They talk about 23, 26% to somebody that is just starting. How do you think one can break free in that? That's number one. The number two, in the era of this financial management, I'm somebody, I would mean, Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm somebody that I so much love myself. I save a lot. 
for as far back as I'm in Palm Reef 5, 1989, I've been saving, 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 I saved, mm. open this account, open that account. But the truth of the matter is that I don't even know what to do with the money. I'm just saving, 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 saving. Now, because I like traveling, I think last year I went to about four countries, <laughs> went to the US, went to America, went to UK, <laughs> finished up the money, almost four million. I'm just saying, as I'm talking to you, I started saving again. I'm just saying, saving, saving. Yes, I have a landed property, about two of them, I thank God. Be honest, so please. Your advice on that. But let me buttress my point again. On this issue of loan, yeah. I've applied to a bank that want to borrow me money because I needed to do the project. But I'm upset about what they said. At the end of the day, they said, okay, well, they are borrowing you 2,000 naira, for example, and I need uh, 2,800 to do the job. They said I need to put something, they call it uh, something, a uh, contribution or something. Hmm. Now, the question is as follows If I have money, why do I have to come to you to come and borrow? Why do well, you tell me I have to still put certain whatever? I don't want to mention which on the bank's name because mm. I don't know. It's not, I think mm. that's what they do all over the bank. Yes. So there's no name hiding the bank. The bank is standing mm. by the Why do you need to tell me I should? <laughs> uh, I should. I should put. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. It's like give me my son, school fees. Okay. Just yeah. give, him, give her a chance to answer your question. Put okay. No, but you, you, clearly, you, clearly, you clearly did not need to borrow if you've been on four holidays <laughs> last year. Please? You could have used four countries. Four countries. Mm. You, you, you could have used part of that money. I mean, if you have cash. No, 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 no. That project don't come up this year. I'm okay. Of sometimes last year. Okay. Yes. No. What I'm saying is, you 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 are a very very strong saver. Now, if you've got I have more than six seven banks, two thousand, three thousand, one million. That's where for, I put for a start. Can you just narrow that down to maybe two banks? Mm -hmm, because your money is spread so thin. And when your money is spread so thin and you go to banks and tr try and borrow, the terms are much much stiffer than if you consolidate and have a, a serious relationship with one or two banks. So you have too, okay. too, you have too many banks for a start. But what I'm saying <laughs> is that since you, you save so well, I mean, I'm very impressed with your savings habit. You should be able mm. to save for your needs without having to borrow at 26%. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to borrow. Because mm. you have it, you have enough money there. I hope you heard that now. Yeah, I heard. If but you're saving, as a matter of fact, sorry, please, ma'am, I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, this is the first time I'm taking such a project. It's about 13 million projects. All the job I've been taking is about 350, 500, 800, 700. So from there, I've been saving, saving all this much so money. So you can, you can, you can save. Know what to do. Yes, yeah. so you can, you can afford to put a significant down payment down, which will help you to pay off the loan in a much um, quicker, yeah. uh, much sooner than, than you would have otherwise. If you put a, what's the down payment they're asking you for? Yes, they said down that the project that I needed down payment of about maybe seven fifty, eight hundred. But at the moment, my money is tied down here and there. The people I've worked for, so I don't have the money to. But you have money in all these eight eight banks. You need to gather some of that money from all those eight banks. And they should trace the history of your saving too. Yeah, I think. Okay, thank okay. you very much. I hope others are listening. And uh, I'm going to take another call now. Hello, hello. Oh, sorry, Good uh, afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm very well. You have to say fine, fine, believe me. Your guest is a wonderful. You did train in Nigeria? Did you? <laughs> you trained very in wonderful. Nigeria. Very, so you're very wonderful. Very oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so yeah, were you trained in Nigeria? Yes, I was trained in Nigeria mm -hmm. and, and okay. out of the country and as well. In one of the Nigeria universities. Sorry? Yeah. I said in one of the Nigeria. I did my MBA at Lagos Business School. My first degree was in the UK. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Well, well, we are proud of you. You are great. Thank yes, you. Yes, my question. Very quick one. Mm -hmm. yes. That's for me. Yeah, yeah. Is there any nexus between uh, maybe insurance and uh, risk saving? You know, in this part of the world, uh, insurance is a way of saving also. Oh, but, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Are, is, yes. Is there, any nexus is there any between connection between insurance, you know, entering into an insurance uh, contract and the uh, and the service? Absolutely. Go yes. Many many yes, times many times you you can get a plan that that tie is tied to your savings. And on okay, mat maturity, you get a you get a. Do they get to you know if there is no you know on toward it is not happening a lot? Do they get to pay you back? Yes, I mean of course, of course, we we assume you're going to select a strong, um, well-rated insurance company, and there are some okay. very very good in insurance companies who do pay that pay when when it when the funds are due. Okay, so it's a means of saving it also. Yes. yes, you can you can oh. choose you can choose a, pay, a plan an insurance product that has a okay. savings part to it. Thank you very much. I'm enjoying your yeah. thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Thank you for bringing all these 
good guys. Enjoy your studio. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello. Yo, hello. Yes, how are you? Yeah, uh, good day. Am I speaking with Inspiration FM? Yes, Inspiration 92.3 FM. Yes, with all pleasure. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is service calling from Port Harcourt. Port Harcourt, how are you? Good. Go I'm ahead. I'm fine. Yes. I'm fine. Uh, uh, I want to ask uh, Mr. Speaker, I, I want to appreciate her for coming on to the show. Thank you. Uh, look, I want to ask her something. Yes. Like me, I'm into manufacturing small scale. And when you say, when you try to enter into business in Nigeria, there are a lot of forces that we come up against here. But not just the savings aspect of it. And maybe although when you set up something, the NAVDAC, the local government agencies, the government agencies, this and that and all that. Mm. And now for me personally, I've tried as much as I can to save money. And I've, and I've uh, also tried as much as I can to invest even in insurance, in life policy with so many insurance companies. But when we do strike it normally, mm. but when it's about the maturity and I want to get this money, they start dribbling me. Okay. And now, and now you find out something, that these people know that they are going to drip up people. And the house isn't lawyers to who can even convince the judge in the court. Like, I have two cases with insurance companies who I have tried to contribute since I started working since 2008. And when they were supposed to pay me this money in 2012, they started telling me all sort of stories. I traveled from Patako to Lagos and all that. And this was money that I set aside to use it for a project in 2013. Mm -hmm. And now, in Nigeria, when you are planning your life, a lot of forces come up against you. And I want to ask her, uh, in her expertise as a banker. Hmm. Okay. You need to make your question so simple so that she can answer it. Yes, oh, go ahead. Okay, now. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, no, my, no, she has understood. My, I've understood. Hello? She has understood you. Hold on. She's okay. a, she has understood. No, Let no. her answer. First yes. of all, okay. you, you mentioned that you had several insurance companies. I was a bit surprised at that because you don't, I mean, I don't know what, how many policies you have. Also, the insurance industry is regulated by the okay. Nas National Insurance Company. Have you have you been to them to register your complaint and, and name these companies that are defaulting? Because there's, um, there's, there's, there's a regulator. Mm -hmm. So you should okay. you should report these cases to the regulator to see how they can follow up because this is just this is very very damaging for the industry. This is what makes many people not want to insure exactly. because they're worried that the insurance companies won't okay. meet their um, obligations. So you must report it. Okay, you got that. Okay, but then you have yeah. too many. You said you have several insurance companies. Uh, I don't uh, know. Like I have about four, about four insurance companies, and all of them are just doing the same thing. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. So yeah. check it out. And maybe you should also narrow it down to no, it manageable number, as we yes, say. Yes, but, but do report it to the regulator. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah. Hi. How are you? Go ahead, please. Yeah. Um, this is Elizabeth calling from Aja. Oh, Lumide, you said? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Okay. Forgive yes. me. Yes. Um, I do have a question about short and long term goals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When she talked about um, savings and all that. Yeah, for a young person that has a long-term goal of, like, um, going to study, okay, let's say I'm a musician and um, I intend going to a conservatory to study. Yeah. I studied at Muslim Center and, you know, in Nigeria, we don't really have um, a very good music conservatory. We don't even have a conservatory here in Nigeria. So that's a long-term goal. Yeah. But of course, it has to do with a lot of financial, there's a lot of finances into it if you're going out to do something like that. And you, you can afford it. So what do you think about um, working with a short-term goal that has to do with, um, let's say, going for summer programs Absolutely. organized by yeah. um, good schools, right? That has to do with vocal training, instrumental, whatever. Do you think it's advisable to use um, some of the savings you have if it can help you afford um, the summer program, which is more like a short-term goal as opposed to the long-term goal, like saving for years? Before Absolutely. The Absolutely. You can, you can take it in bite-sized pieces. You can do something that will help you along and improve okay. you. You'll get better and better. Now, there are scholarships all over the world. Some of the top schools have scholarships. Some of these shorter programs that you're going on, and if you're determined and get better and better in what you're doing, you start to apply for scholarships, even if it's part payment. That might help you towards the long-term 
the long term goal. But yes, I do. I do advise that you take advantage of whatever programs you can go on in the short term. Okay. Thank you very much. Hello. Oops. Did I miss you? All right. So there's so many calls. Uh, okay. Hello. Mm, okay. Now questions. I earn a thousand per week. Uh, I tithe, so I give hundred naira, so I have nine hundred, and I find it's hard to save. One year old girl, please help me. I mean, eleven year olds. Eleven, 11 years year old. old. Sorry, oh, I said one. Okay, I didn't say that word. Thank you, Rufai. Eleven years old. And another question is, how can one get finance for cosmetics and pharmaceutical manufacturing industry? And then before the month end, you're already broke. In this case, do you <laughs> borrow to save? <laughs> now, three <laughs> questions, huh? <laughs> the first one from the eleven-year-old girl. Yes, let's start with I that. I think I think that's wonderful. She said she tithes she tithes a hundred yes. and she has nine hundred left. Yes. And then she, she she, so she I, I saves. I find it hard to save. <laughs> no, she has she has to try and save. She's living at home with her parents. Apparently. Free food, free rent. I think she's doing <laughs> she's doing very very well. I think she can afford to save another another hundred or another two hundred there. Definitely. Well, so that gives her about seven hundred so to play with. I would have thought she should just keep five hundred to play with. Uh-huh. I'm not sure if she's got to, to buy her school snacks from that when she gets to school at break time. <laughs> I, ho- I hope not. It's a week, she said, a thousand a week. Yes. Yes. No, she should be able to save. She's not doing badly. She's only she's four thousand yeah, a month. Yeah, wow. absolutely. But that's a good parent, I must say. Fantastic. And then uh, how can one get finance or, uh, for cosmetics and pharmaceutical manufacturing industry? Now, that I would have to come back to you. I'm, I don't You're want to sure. say something that I'm not very well, sure about but okay. can they is there a way they can write to you and you take the details down sure. and get back okay, okay. so I'll find in fact um, you, at the end of the program you can also leave your email address okay great okay. but the small small businesses it's yes. a small business and they need to sort of find where they can get financing from beautiful mm. and before the end the before the month ends uh, I'm already broke <laughs> In this case, do you borrow to save? <laughs> no, no, you don't. You don't. You don't borrow to save. Track track your expenses and know where your money is going. Hmm. Where is it going? Do you know? Can you categorically say that there's no waste at all? Hmm. So track your expenses. Write everything down for a month, and find out where the excess is and see exactly where you can cut a bit away and save that. You seem to love music, as you play music. Yeah. Yes. But tell me, how much time do you have for all of this business, music, and how do you interplay? Music, music is a is a way of life for me. I've been playing the piano since I was three years old, and Oops. Um, went to diploma level, piano mm. teaching diploma with it. Mm. And then my family have a foundation. Yes. And we have a Christmas concert every year because my brothers and sisters we're all musical, and our children are musicians as well. Ah. So we all perform in this concert, and mm. the proceeds go to raising scholarships for children. Wow. So it's the Ajumagobia Science Foundation yeah. Christmas concert. Okay. I hope you'll come this year. No, I will. I must. In fact, um, Inspiration probably will also cover it and give some oh, reports yes. on it because that's anything charity is good yes. for me. Our first and scholars are in medical school now, so it's, mm. it's wonderful. Wow. So it's, I play 30 minutes to an hour every day, I try to do. Hello. Good afternoon. My name is Ada. Ada, yes. Go ahead. Yes, please. I'm calling from Ada. Okay. Um, good afternoon to the guest speaker we have in the house. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm very well. Um, please, I would like to ask the question. Go ahead. Um, okay, you know we're talking about long-term goals and savings plan and all that. Yeah. Okay, for instance, where you have a long-term goal to go to your master's abroad, and um, currently the savings plan you have is about ten, about ten thousand a month. You know that it will really take you a long time before you achieve that. So now I want to ask because I have to. Um, I started a savings plan, which is about ten thousand a month, and I wanted. To, um, I I thought about that maybe after I could invest in something that um, could yield interest or yield return while I continue the savings plan, so that at the end of the day I could be able to um, work on the goals I have. So I would really like to know if there are small scale investments that one could do to get such interest rates coming. Okay. Come, come in. Yeah. What, what's your time? Your time frame? Because it, it, the, the investments that you make depend on the time frame. So, for example, if you put money in the stock market, okay. in the in the short ter- short term, it's okay. very dangerous because the stock market is volatile. Okay. But over the long term, say five years down the line or beyond, 
you have a you have a better chance of getting a higher rate of return than you would on a bank deposit. Okay. okay. Now in the stock market you have mutual funds which are pooled funds. That's okay. thousands of people are putting their money together in an investment that's managed in the stock market. Okay. For as little as 10,000 naira you can buy you can enter the, enter the mutual fund. And, but, okay. it, but they're long-term investments, so it's very, very important that you're not putting money in the stock market that you need for next year or, or in two years' time. Okay, so, so what would be the like, investment plan when you need it for like in the next two years? In the next two years, it's, I'm sorry, but there isn't a huge amount that you can do. It's really, it has to be in a bank, a bank um, deposit. So you're going to be in the money market, which is the short term. If you, if you put something in the stock market for two years' time and then the market crashes, it'll be very difficult for you. You could, you could actually lose your, lose your money. Is there any, any other way you can, you can earn, earn additional income from part-time work or doing some, some, something at, at the weekends? Or do you have any skill that you could earn from? Okay, actually, I, I recently enrolled to learn photography. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I know how old you are. Uh, um, um, say you remove um, just take 22 away from 22 away from hello because you're going to give me your age, you suddenly went a wall. <laughs> <You said? laughs> Is it 22 away from three, three years away from 30? Three, three years away from 30, she's 20, 27. You, you sound you don't sound 27, you sound, you sound 17, yes, yeah, exactly. No, that, no, that's great because that's that's what I was talking about earlier early about developing your skill and passion. Yeah. Because okay. there's so many people that need phot need photographs taken. So maybe you know if you take this seriously and get very good at it, you can start okay. to do small small functions and and start to grow. The yeah, t the yeah. ten thousand a month is not in the money market is not going to grow to the point you need for the, for your masters. So you're going oh, okay. to so you're going to need to to um, earn additional funds from from elsewhere. Okay, thank you. Thank you Please, very I much. Would write, I, I would like to ask, how can we get your board, the Monopoly board you were talking about? They're in ShopRite, Quintessence. Um, hello? Yes, go ahead. If you go to www.bestmangames.com www.bestmangames.com the, the stockists are all listed there. Okay, hello. Hello? Hello? Yes, how are you? Go straight to the point. Time is going. Uh, Yes. Yeah, my name is Emmanuel. How are you, Emmanuel? I'm fine, sir. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from VI. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm a driver, and um, I think my salary is about 30000 naira a month. And um, I, stay with, I, I stay with the people that I work with, so my transport is safe, my rent is safe. Um, accommodation is safe. Okay. But I find it difficult to save. Like this year, I plan to save at least 15,000 Naira a month out of the 30,000 Naira. But to my surprise, I've not been able to save anything. And this is April. Mm -hmm. It's so difficult for me to but save. But what, what, can you say, just give us an idea of what was it going on? What, did you, what, what were the major things that, that you had to dip into? What, what happened? Because if you have okay. no, no rent costs, you have no transport costs, mm -hmm. Then, then it's does your does your boss um, provide you with a meal or do you uh, do you eat at work or? No, I I feed I eat I I feed from the money. Okay. So then secondly, I you know are you are you married? Eat, no, I'm not married. You're not married without and you haven't got children and you are spending all the, all of that. And I, you can't save at all. You don't spend money on transport. You don't spend on accommodation. Yeah. I the small problem I have is um I think my family, you know, my relations like that and um I'm from Kosovo, but I stay in Lagos and you know once okay, I you send money home. Like, the extended family you're I, sending money to the extended family. I, I send money a lot. I have a brother in the university which I assist with uh, maybe five thousand yeah. every month. Yeah. But somehow I really Myself. I've been driving for a long time, but I don't have, I don't have anything to show for it. No, you know, you said fifteen thousand out of the thirty. I think that was a bit, a bit ambitious. That was too much. 
But even if you can come down and try to save 10,000 a month, or even even if you start for a while, I mean, it's important that you, you assist your brother because you need your family members to be independent so that he too can help with your aging parents. But at least at a minimum, you should be saving 5,000 a month. And the best way to do this is by direct debit. So the money should come out of your account on salary day before you even have a chance to have access to it because if the money if you, does your boss pay you in cash yes okay stop that open a bank account and have your boss paying you into the so bank account so you just account. withdraw what's necessary so yes otherwise so you have cash it's going to be gone and then every month by direct debit it should be taken 5000 or whatever you think you can do 10000 should go out into savings that you don't have an atm card for hmm. so you're not tempted to keep going to that money and then you just try, you you know, so you, you have to help out the family. But don't, I hope you're not the only one that has to be helping and others are not doing their own, taking responsibility as well. Is it only you? I somehow, somehow like that. <laughs> okay. There, there, there was a time I, I shot my, I changed my lines. I <laughs> talked to anybody again. I switched off my phones for about four months and they were looking for me all over. But they survived. But I really they, want to do but they survived. Nothing happened. They did. They su- yes. Oh, wow. And did you save some money in those four months? I, I, I did not really Oh, save. you see? So, <laughs> so that's it's not you, the, not them. <laughs> so that's not the issue then. <laughs> if in the four months you didn't save the money Okay, then. thank you so much now, okay? All right, hello. Hello. Hi, Uncle Sonny. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Go ahead. Hi, Madam in the house. Good afternoon. I didn't catch your name because I tuned in. Mimi Akinkube. Yeah. Hello. And what's your name? My name is Adobe. Adobe. Huh? Ado- Adobe. Adobe. Okay. How are you, Adobe? Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Where are you calling from? You. I'm calling from Lagos. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. Yes. I'm um, just a quick one um, to request. Uncle Tony, can this be repeated? Because I really ca- um, caught um, in when it was um, quite late. In fact, the last edition that was last week, I got about 17 requests for that, and now I'm hearing this again. We'll seriously consider it. We will okay, seriously. Yes, Anything yes. to help the family, you know, because you okay. are our family. <laughs> oh, that, that's very nice to hear. Thanks. <laughs> Thank well, you. Um, my own question at the moment is, mm. I'm building a house, a four blocks of flat. Mm. But each time I get in the morning, I just send it straight to the building people. And my mother, who's in charge of the building in Asaba, where I hail from, mm. Um. It, the advice now is, or the request I'm asking is, should I have savings? Because it's my savings I'm using to build the house. Because I'm looking at it in long term. By the time they pay my rent, one, one flat may be for expenses, travel, and different things. That's just the advice I want to ask. No, that's, what you're doing is, is excellent because that is going to earn you income. You're going to rent out. Asaba is the state capital, it's a perfect place to own property. So okay. once, you, once you finish this property, you're going to let the flats out, aren't you? Yes, I am, definitely, yes, so all of it. Yes, so you're, in, you're investing in your future. But you do need to have some cash for emergencies. You need an emergency fund to have some, fun, some funds for to put aside in case you suddenly have some unexpected needs. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, so what, what we normally advise is you should have about six months of expenses in a savings account. That okay. you can you can dip into you know you know how things happen you need new car tires the generator packs up all okay. the, all those things yes okay. so you you can't afford to put every single thing into the property and have no cash okay okay but you're you're doing the right thing I mean that's just great to own a block of apartments an apartment block in Asaba thank you very much mm-hmm. Uncle Sonny yep I go call five past time job for an inspiration and film. If I just give me one flat, then come. <laughs> <laughs> Anything for you, bro. Thank you, darling. God bless well. you. Bye. Bye-bye. Hello. Hi. Oh, good, good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. Sorry. Thanks for waiting. How are you? Go ahead. Go straight yeah. to the point. My name is... My name is... Dennis. Your name is what? Dennis. Dennis. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. And my question is, how can one cultivate the habit of saving you know, because I find it very challenging to save money. You know, whenever the money gets to me, I spend it lavishly. I don't, I don't have okay. to save. Because of the I, time I, left, you've asked the pertinent question, so let her answer, okay? Yes. Yes, I, automating your invest, your, your savings is, is the 
easiest way because it's very, very difficult if you have the money yourself and you just spend it. But if at source, as your salary enters your account, there's a direct debit into your savings, that tends to help a lot of people because what happens is if, if you try to wait till the end of the month, there's nothing left. It's best to have the savings go out as soon as your salary hits your account. Is that possible for you? Well, I've cut him off. And uh, I have so many questions. I'm just going to try and rush them. Listen very carefully because some of them came from their different uh, media. Greetings to you, Mr. Sunny. I want to ask your guest, somebody that is engaged, and the budget for that month is like 60000 uh, Please, how can that person save that money? 60000 well, let's look at the basic basis of that amount. I'll just say the same thing to to everyone. Ten percent. Yes, I mean mm. at, at a minimum, if they at can do, if they can do more, mm. but at a minimum, and, and automating the savings is critical. Okay. Because if the money comes into their hands, it's so difficult. So many True. other pulls on your income. But if you can have it sent out immediately, that mm. helps. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to say it. He he accuses the insurance industry of fraud. I had a policy with an insurance uh, company and when I needed uh, the money it came up with all sorts of excuses somebody else has said that earlier uh -huh. so 1.15 million is trapped in almost eight years and the other one said well thanks I used my savings uh, earning to build a house um, divided into two one four factory maybe that's the lady that I called earlier can I produce anything in cosmetics, pharmaceutical products, blah, 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 I blah. Think so. Hello, I'm involved in our local saving method. I jaw something like that. Have okay. you heard of that before? I've heard of Esusu. Esusu, but similar. this one says I jaw. What's I jaw? Maybe it's a similar okay. scheme. Uh, which I use for something tangible and need to save in the bank. Do I need to save in the bank? The bank is more structured. You okay. can, you can, you can. People do very well with the with the con what do they call it like a contribution type mechanism. Yeah, yeah corporate. They're, they're very very effective. It's a, it's a cooperative. It's just an informal um, version of of regular savings. Yeah. Sorry, I'm bungling your questions because I don't seem to be getting it too well. The bank is far away from me, and also oh, considering considering the bank uh, charges transport to and from discourage me. So what should I do? I don't feel like saving. Oh no. <laughs> The other one says, will it be right to say the high interest rates for loans set by the central bank uh, is not enough growth for our economy? What is wrong with a 3% rate as in the USA? The costs. That just that the you share, said there's high interest rates. Yes, the, but the, yeah. the sheer costs of, of, of the business, I mean, the, the costs that the institutions... Is that what they call the interbank rates and all of that? They have significant costs, which is why they have to charge those those rates. Sometimes the rates can be out, seem outrageous, but the the haven't been the in the industry before. Do you honestly think that that's a fair? Can it go down? <laughs> oh, we're sorry, I'm 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 putting, delicious, on, I'm putting you on the spot. spot okay. No, well, I find that I find the rates uh, rate, rates outrageous. They're outrageous. I so do find them outrageous right right now. It's I very think, difficult for people to. I think borrow. banking is supposed mm. to encourage growth, yeah, not to destroy it. Mm. So, all right, um, we've gone very far. One last call. Hello. Just you, the last caller. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi. Good How are you? Go ahead. Good afternoon, Uncle Sunny. Good afternoon, my darling. How are you? Very well. And thank you so much for bringing in Auntie Mimi. Yes. I've been reading her columns. We've been following you from Jerry Reeves Magazine and so on. Oh, wonderful. Thank <laughs> you. Yes. Okay, my question is, I'm married to a young couple. And I wanted to, uh, if, as regards to savings now, where you have, what's the best ratio for sharing savings, the short-term savings and the long, towards the long-term goal and short-term goal. And then second question is, if by eventually along the line we get a bulk sum of money, what can be the best form of way of reinvesting some, some of that money? And then, you know, continuing with the um, long-term savings and short-term savings. That's my question. Okay, I'm cutting you off now, so she will answer you. Okay, Go ahead. I'm glad that you, you do have um, short, medium and long-term goals. It's very difficult for me to say... as a a particular percentage or ratio that should be for both. You have to look at your look at the priorities. Which one do you? I mean, the, the long-term goals need need time to grow, hmm. 
And those are usually for the very big goals. So usually you tend to have to put aside a larger proportion for those long-term goals and keep a smaller smaller amount for the short-term goals. But it's very difficult. You have to look at your own unique situation and determine what you can afford to do. What was the second question, Tony? Uh, I think I was there. Uh, I think I forgot. I'm so sorry. I'm so anxious to end the program. That I, okay. Okay. I think uh, what you were trying to say here, it had to do with short, long, yes. medium and long term. Yes. But if she, if she got some bulk money, she said. Yeah. What would she, what would she do with it? What, yes, the, the, what um, should she do with it? Depending on if it's for the long term goal, she can afford to invest part of it in the stock market. Okay. But any money you have, you should have a diversified portfolio, which means you have to have some cash. You have to have some stocks. If she's investing in real estate, that's fantastic as well. You can't put all your eggs in one basket. So mm. it's very, very important that if she has a bulk amount, it is still divided into into different um, okay. proportions. Now, what of that? You know, I want to use that driver as a point of yeah. reference to the like-minded people, their maids, drivers, artisans, those who have very, very short, very minimum wage. Yes. How, how should they manage they, they will have to set, to just set aside funds on a regular basis. That's okay. the only way, and and do that do that for a long time. What's your message for Inspiration Radio? <laughs> <laughs> your music has started in the background. Oh, wonderful! That's Victor Elias. Yes, yes. It's fantastic. <laughs> yes. What's your message the for message, Inspiration Radio? The, yes. The message is to to always try to give back to the community that you you come from, <laughs> to do good and to do well. So, you heard that, that message from Nimi Akinkube, very, very married, so don't ask me any <laughs> other question. Um, through Inspiration Radio on Sunny Rabo Live to us Nigerians out there, and I hope that you've had a good time. This is our job, just to make sure that that family essence is alive. Go saving so that you can not feel beggarly or too much in need. And don't forget, Get TV, a big thank you to Channel 129 on Star Times, Star Times. Uh, Tuesdays, 8 p.m. and Sunday, 1 p.m. Don't forget that, Get TV, Channel 129. And uh, we'll play this song from Victor Olaya, uh, Baby Me Jowo. Uh, <laughs> Victor Olaya and Two Face. <laughs> and this is how I say thank you. Nimi, thank you so much for honoring us. You know, you flew in from Abuja for this. God bless you. Thank you for having me. It means that Sonny Rabo Live and it means that Inspiration Radio is going very far. God bless you all because you are the ones making us who we are and what we should be. Thank you. <laughs> Now you will be my own motor, so now only you I'm
Come respect. 